Hello, magandang araw po. My name is Ruby. Welcome to Pacholi Software Solutions Getting to Know MYOB video series. In this video, we will be exploring how to create a sales invoice in MYOB. To create a sales invoice or to enter sales details into MYOB, please start your MYOB. Open your company file and then in the command center, click on sales and then click enter sales. A new sales screen will appear. This is our new sales window in the service layout. Depending on the nature of your business, MYOB offers five different sales invoice layout. To view the different layouts available, click on the layout button as shown. This is the Select Layout screen. Depending on whether you are using MYOB Accounting or Premier, there will be four or five layout options to choose from. And these are the available layouts in MYOB. The first option is Service. This layout is used by businesses offering services. The second option is Item and it is used by businesses that offer products for sale. If you need to specify quantities and unit price in your invoice, this would be the best layout to use. The third option is professional, which is used by businesses offering professional services and need to include the date of service. The time billing layout is available only in MYOB Premier. This layout is also for professional firms, but it includes the feature for invoicing in time taken for the service. The final option is miscellaneous layout, and it is used to make adjustments to sales. For this video, we will be using the service layout. In MYOB, you can create or enter a code, customer order, or invoice. Creating a code or order is optional, but having this feature helps you to keep track of codes that you have sent to your customers, as well as orders that have been received but not yet delivered. You can easily convert a code to an order, an order to an invoice, or even convert a code directly to an invoice without creating an order. For this video, we will be creating an invoice. The first step is to select the customer that you are invoicing. To do this, if you already have your customer in your company file, just start typing the customer's name in the box as highlighted. Notice that MYOB auto completes the customer's name as you type. You can also click on the arrow next to the box to select your customer's name. When you click on the arrow, a list of your customers will appear and you can select from it. Click on the customer's name and then click the Select Customer button. If the customer is not in your company file, you may create a new one by clicking the New button and then add the customer's details. Once you select the customer, MYOB automatically fills the customer's name and address into the Ship To box. The details appearing here is taken from the details that you have entered into the customer's card file. Next is to enter the invoice number, date of the invoice, and the customer's order number or reference. The invoice number is auto-generated by MYOB based on the last invoice number that you have used. You can change this by typing your preferred invoice number into the box provided. The date is also taken from the current date on your system. You can also change this if you prefer. Once this is complete, click the description field to enter the details of your sale. When you click in the description column, the text box will expand so that you can key in the details of the sale. Start typing the description in the box. The next step is to select your income account. Press the tab key on your keyboard or use the mouse to click in the account column. You can either type in the account number or click on the arrow to display a list of accounts. In the Select From List screen, you may click your income account and then click on the Use Account button. If the account you wish to use is not on this list, you just click on the New button and then create a new account. 
Now press the tab key on your keyboard to move to the amount column. Enter the amount for this line here. Press the tab key twice to move to the text column and then select your text code. If your amount is already inclusive of your tax, then make sure to tick the tax inclusive box at the top. You will notice that MYOB automatically calculates the tax amount for you. You may enter more lines for the invoice by pressing the tab key again to go to the next description line and you may do the same until you finish keying in all the details for this sale. Once you have completed all the details for this invoice, just click the record button. And there we have just created our first invoice. But of course, the steps that you have seen in this video are just the basic steps in creating a sales invoice. MYOB has more advanced features to help you manage your business much better. For example, you can select a salesperson for this invoice. You may select a comment to be printed on the invoice, select a shipment method, or enter a promise date. You may also save this invoice as a recurring transaction or specify an exchange rate if you are invoicing this customer in another currency. If this is a cash sale, you can also enter the details of the payment and generate a sales receipt in this screen in one step. At Pacholi Software Solutions, we offer MYOB training, both classroom and on-site. Our on-site training is only available for Metro Manila. This training is very comprehensive and it will take you through step-by-step -step with hands-on examples. Please visit the website link shown to inquire about our MYOB training courses. As part of our MYOB functional training, we cover the following topics in sales and receivables. From creating codes and invoices, to applying receipt of payments, customer deposits, up to sales transaction journals, and other areas of MYOB which are very valuable in our day-to-day -day accounting. Aside from training, we also do offer free consultation which includes a demo of the MYOB features. The demo will be conducted at your office upon request. To request a consultation, please visit the link shown. On-site consultation is available within Metro Manila. If you are outside Metro Manila, we can still offer free consultation through the web if you have a good internet connection. Once again, thank you for watching. If you have any comments on this video, we would be happy to hear from you. Please do watch our other videos in this series to get a better understanding of how MYOB can help you manage your business much better. Have a good day. Maraming salamat po.